Let me show you how to burn videos to a DVD or Blu-ray disc. This way you can watch them on a big screen or simply have a backup. It's really easy to do. To burn to DVD, we want to use Convertix to DVD. If you have a Blu-ray living room player and HD files that you want to keep in HD format, you can use Convertix to HD. It works the same as Convertix to DVD, but it's for Blu-ray and AVHD outputs. In other words, it works for HD content and it keeps that high definition resolution. With either product you'll use, you'll have a fancy looking menu. So for this example, let's use Convertix to DVD. You want to add the files you want to convert. You can do that by pressing this green icon or by dragging and dropping them into the application. So here's a graduation that I filmed this weekend. So you just add the file or several and press convert. But there's many other options that we can look at. But to keep this short and sweet, let's just look at a couple of options. Let's say you'd like to cut out a sequence. So you select the video you want to edit and here underneath the preview window you press the scissors and you seek to the location you want to remove. You can use a different interval for these little arrows to press and you can even get it down to one frame so you can be really specific at exactly what point you want to do the cutting. Once you've selected that location you press start cut, you move the cursor to where you want to end the cut, and you do it press validate. You can create as many cut sections as necessary. So that's how to cut out a sequence, but if you'd like to change the menu that would be used for your project, you can do that too. Convertix to DVD has lots of menus to choose from. For example, here we go, we can see all the different menus here, but you can also edit the one. So let's go ahead and ch check that out and make a really cool menu for this graduation. So here I've clicked edit menu and I'm going to use the default menu and here we see the title and the play button and we can play also the video here and we can see a live preview of what that menu is going to look like. So here let's say we'd like to add the date here to this so we can press it. May 2016 I enter that and I can want I can change the font make that look pick a special looking font perhaps I'd like this one a little school like there you go and we can change the color but I think white looks pretty good in this case we could also change the uh, the size anyway there's lots of options so I can also change the way that's centered on the screen so I can move that around very simple to do and I can add background music to play as the menu is playing so I can go ahead and click on this to change the background file and I've downloaded some clapping sounds so that we can hear people applauding in the background so to go ahead and do that I locate the file with the clapping applause so I click on that press OK and let's say I'd like to change this play icon to a graduates cap so we can go ahead and right click on that and edit. Here I'm going to use a custom file and I'm going to select that graduation cap. If I can find it, here it is. And we can see that has already been added. I press OK. So when I want to play the menu, I would click on this button. So it's pretty swift. So let's take a peek at this menu by pressing play. And that looks pretty darn cool. So I've got my headphones on. I hope you heard that. I could hear the applause on that. So we're set and good to go. So I've got a custom looking menu. It looks awesome. I'm going to press OK. And now I'm ready to convert. So if I press convert and insert a blank DVD, the files will be converted and burnt to disk. And there we have it. It was simple to do. You can add as many files as you want to the project to be burnt onto the disk. And it's that simple. So you've got customization done with Convertix to DVD and files that will play on any player.